Hi and welcome to another Oculus Quest video. The Oculus Quest is now going to launch in seven days. Yes, only one week left until you can get this home. And today, the second video of this review series, I'm going to talk about the displays. How good are the displays? How do they compare to Rift S, original Rift? Vive, Vive Pro, Samsung Odyssey, HP Reverb and Oculus Go I'm going to talk about in this video and very exciting I'm going to show you through the lens videos of the Quest and I believe that might be the very first through the lens videos on the interwebs so definitely stay tuned because all of this goodness is coming up Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me then subscribe now and click the bell button if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming Oculus Quest videos and there will still be quite a lot. Alright, let's directly delve into today's topic. The Oculus Quest displays. So. Let me tell you what kind of displays these are. This has two displays inside of them and each display has a resolution of 1600 times 1440 pixels and it's an OLED panel. And this makes sure that the blacks are really, really black and I'm going to talk more about the blacks in a moment. So first of all, um, it's very important to say that this has two displays as compared to, to the, the Oculus Go, for example, which only has one display. And because we have two displays here, that's why the device actually has um, an IPD slider. That's why you can set the lenses to match your interpopular distance. And that's really important for people who have a smaller or a much bigger interpopulary distance than the average person. So you will still be able to use this. Okay, first of all, let me directly tell you what I think of the display. My impression after having used the device for a couple of days now. The displays are great, fantastic. Actually, the displays that are being used are the same displays that are being used in the Vive Pro and the Samsung Odyssey. And well, Therefore, I can tell you, if you have seen how the Vive Pro looks like, you know how good the displays are and you know what kind of um, picture quality you can expect. It absolutely looks like the Vive Pro and actually it does look even better. And the reason is that this device uses way better lenses than the Vive Pro. For the Vive Pro, you know, it, it uses exactly the same lenses that the original Vive was already using and there we had quite a lot of problems with God rays. Here we have the lenses that are being used also with, uh, with, the, with the Oculus Go and with the Rift S and these lenses are really, really good. There is still some God rays and you will see that later in the through the lens videos but as compared to the Vive and Vive Pro the God rays are really well better in terms of as in like they're not as strongly visible as like for example with the Vive or the Vive Pro. So if you have seen the picture of the Vive Pro or the Samsung Odyssey you know how good it looks. Do you still see screen door effect? If you really concentrate yourself on trying to see the screen door effect, you can still see it. You can still see the individual pixels. So we have not yet reached the, the visual fidelity of, for example, the HP Reverb that I've um, reviewed on the channel recently, but it is really good. So uh, if you are like playing a game, I believe you will completely forget about something like screen door effect. The display looks beautiful, really, really beautiful. So if you would compare that to the original Rift, it's like day and night. It's just so beautiful. And when I was going through the tutorial, when I was setting this up, 
the tutorial and the whole setup it reminded me of the original rift of the polish but i thought like wow this looks way better the colors pop we don't have the god rays which was really a problem for me with the original oculus rift but we don't have that so much with the with the oculus quest yeah so that's important now so compared to oculus rift it's a huge step up huge also compared to the to the original vive it's a huge step up in terms of in terms of resolution and in terms of how how everything simply looks like since, since you don't have this screen door effect problem anymore so really really nice now probably you want to know how does how does the oculus quest compare to the rift s and to the oculus go in terms of the display and also here i can tell you it looks better the oculus quest looks better in terms of the display so you have to um, differentiate here about the display and about the graphics that are being sent to the display so for the rift s it's being powered by your computer by a very like capable graphics card so actually the the rendered picture that can be sent to the rift s it will look better in terms of like how many polygons are being displayed right so the oculus quest is a standalone device which is powered by a snap by a mobile snapdragon um soc so the 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 fidelity the 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 polygons they won't they won't be as many as for the rift s but in terms of just if you just look at the display the display looks better it has a higher resolution as compared to the rift s and most importantly and that's really that's really a big difference this is an oled display whereas the rift s and the oculus go are lcd displays and for lcd displays the blacks are normally not as good as the blacks with the oled technology because well for the else for the lcd panels you still have some backlighting and for oled the pixels itself will will glow or not glow if they are black so for oled panels like the one in the oculus quest black truly is black it's completely dark which is perfect for horror games or any dark games that you will play and yeah it's uh, it's really fantastic so um, actually when I uh, before I was using the the oculus quest I was using the HP reverb a lot since uh, I had to review it and um, going from the from the HP reverb to the oculus quest in terms of black values wow it is really really a big difference so the blacks are simply so beautiful here in the in the oculus quest and i must honestly tell you i still don't quite get it why oculus is not using the same panels that they use here also for the rift s since the blacks are just so nice and the whole picture in vr looks so great yeah but you know what why don't we simply have a look now because i did do some through the lens videos through the with on the oculus quest so i recorded some gameplay of beat saber i recorded some gameplay of creed rise to glory and i recorded some gameplay of angry birds all through the lens and i must tell you it's not easy to record through the lens videos uh, when you're on vacation when you're not in your studio i try to do that with my mobile phone so everything that you see right now is recorded with my mobile phone so it is not great yeah it's not like the same like as if i was at home in my studio but i simply still wanted to give you an idea how good actually the oculus quest looks so let's have a look at these through the lens videos and here we go this is beat saber through the lens on the oculus quest and well I'm recording this with my smartphone and well I can only use one hand to slice the blocks so don't look at my Beat Saber skills here this is really only to show you how Beat Saber looks through the lens of the Oculus Quest and as you can tell it looks great look at those nice colors 
colors look really good the darks look dark and uh, the colors are really popping so i'm really really sold on this display and um, yeah as you can tell it's also hard to see any screen door effect if you would really really try to see it you can still see it especially when you are in the headset but it's really not a lot that you can see here and uh, yeah i believe this should be one of the first if not the first through the lens footage of the oculus quest that you get to see here on the interwebs and on youtube but for sure once the device is released there's going to be much more through the lens pictures and videos yeah, for the display technology, again, it's OLED, it's a pentile display, which means there are like two sub-pixel to each pixel. And well, compared to, OLED, one moment here, <laughs> here's the proof. It's really the Oculus Quest. Yeah, it's really through the lens pictures. Just wanted to show you that that's not another headset. So indeed, it is the Oculus Quest. So again, this is a pentile OLED display, pentile the subpixel structure it shows two subpixels per pixel for LCD RGB stripe we have three subpixels so you might even see more subpixels with with for example the Rift S or the Oculus Go however in terms of resolution in terms of the overall pixels you have more here on the Oculus Quest all right, so let's go to the next. Let's go to the next game. I'm, I'm going to show you Crete now. So this is Crete: Rise to Glory, the boxing game, and it's fantastic on the Oculus Quest. So much I can tell you. So here you saw quite a few um, god rays actually and uh, indeed there are still god rays with the device but they are not as bad as with the original Rift or with the Vive or the Vive Pro but they are still there and in that moment you saw it quite a lot but here now you see here are nearly no god rays right now it's also a high contrast scene white on black and now have a look have a look at the blacks first of all the blacks are super black but also just see how good this glove looks like wow really amazing and simply have a look at how great actually this looks here really cool and you have to keep in mind this is being rendered on a mobile device this is being rendered by snapdragon soc and not by your gdx 1070 or 1080 and so on and so forth so that is really cool now i'm trying to get the controller and trying to start the game by the way just now you saw some um some graphical problems but this is just due to my recording this you could not see that in the in the headset so let's start the career and let's have a look at how the game looks all right delphi gym seven months before the underground championship and here we are so again, I must make it very clear, this is filmed through the lens with my smartphone and it looks much better in reality when you can use both of your eyes, when you have this in 3D stereoscopic vision, it looks amazing. When you film through the lens, you cannot always catch it perfectly. And I think the video gives you a good idea, but definitely, without a doubt, it does look better in person so this is really just to give you an idea about the screen and the display and the lens quality so let's go to the next game to the last game let's show you angry birds now 
All right, and this is Angry Birds on the Oculus Quest, filmed through the lens with my smartphone. And it does look good, the colors look great, everything is very sharp and really good to look at. Now, if you're wondering how is the screen door effect, well, you can probably see that you can't really see any any of it. And in you can still see it if you really try to see it, but it's good. So, how is it compared with the Rift S? Well, it's a different kind of display technology. LCD RGB stripe on the Rift S and here Pentile OLED. So, um, how the pixels are arranged looks a bit different. Here with 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 the uh, Quest, it's kind of diagonal and with the RGB stripe matrix, it's more horizontal how you see the the pixels. But for both Really, there's not so much SD left. You can still see some and it's very comparable. It really depends on what kind of pixel, subpixel structure. Yeah, do you like more or uh, will feel, make you feel more disturbing? But it's really, really not like disturbing at all. For me, this kind of SDE that you see here very very nice display and now you've seen three games on the oculus quest through the lens i really and i really hope that you have a good idea now how the display looks like so now you should have a good idea how the oculus quest looks through the lenses but i can tell you if you if you wear it and if you use both eyes to see the 3d effect together with these displays and these great lenses it looks even better it looks just amazing to be able to look around and move around thanks to the six degrees of freedom the displays are great really really amazing displays again if you have a look through the Vive Pro you will exactly know how the Oculus Quest looks like and to say that of a mobile device that cost $399 as compared to the Vive Pro which I believe still costs $799 just the headset only wow really amazing value an amazing device and again it's a very very strong recommendation you should pick that up as soon as possible the link is down in the description below for the Amazon um, for the Amazon um, order and if you do so, you would even support this channel. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's everything that I have for this video. If you have not yet subscribed to Emmer TV yet, make sure to do that because there's going to be many more Oculus Quest videos coming and I'm going to reply to all of your questions and I'm going to use your questions to make the next videos to find out what you want to know before launch of about the Oculus Quest. So please do leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. Also, again, one thing very important. If you bring that out into, into the wide open, well, then make sure that your lenses are covered because if the light goes into the lenses through, if onto the display through the lenses, you can damage your device. So very important. Always bring your bring this kind of uh, yeah lens protector when you go outside all right that's it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and well i'm looking forward to see you tomorrow all the best see you then